My name's Bill Dima and I'm the choreographer of Follies. Hold it there. Well, I specialise in all styles of choreography. Outside of theatre, I've worked as a specialist Charleston choreographer and musical theatre choreographer on Strictly Come Dancing. What really attracted me to Follies was it deals with choreography from the 20s right through to the 40s, 50s. That's a wide spectrum of choreography to deal with. Dominic Cook took the show back to the original book and indeed I took the choreography back to the original arrangements which I believe are truly sensational. I was drawn to choreographing the mirror number first because you've got that one number to show how wonderful they were as chorus girls becoming Follies girls becoming great tap dancers. It's a difficult thing to choreograph. So I had to get that right before I went on any further. First of all, I did a tap boot camp for the ladies to see how they were with the tap routine, how much they could do. I wanted to know how far I could push that. And then I work with the ladies and develop it with them. That's very important. You never, ever, well, I never go into a room and say, well, that's what it is. It's going to be something like I've created, but it has to become real in the rehearsal room. Like Can you imagine you've been, how, how long you were drilled in those numbers? Yeah. My name's Dawn Hope and I play Stella Deans. When I was asked to do this number, I hadn't tapped for 30 years. For me, I had to really get my ankles strong again and then also just know that i got to get a different kind of breathing going on because I'm going to sing as well as tap. Dawn, our Stella, our leading lady in the mirror routine, yes, she has a big song to deliver. She then has to tap dance, she then has to dance and bring the number together and bring it to the audience telling her story. Her breath control at the end of the routine is quite exceptional. I still look now and say, I don't know how you're doing that, darling, but keep it going. The song she used to sing, now she's reflecting on her life. And she's going, hang on. Yes, it was an amazing life. We had lots of suitors. Everyone was after her. We were the women in New York. She actually starts to understand her journey of where she had been and to recognize what I've been through and that I still have it, but actually I can let it go. Billy Deemer is such an interesting choreographer because he has such a great vision and yet so as not to overwhelm you, he brings it in portions. And once he knows you've got that piece of his style in, he'll add another layer and then another layer. Head movement, it's your arms where are you placed. That look and then the look to her and then that and then that. It's really exciting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. During a technical rehearsal of a Follies routine, you've actually got to go back to those old Follies rules. Oh. And the next picture. Now that one, yeah, look that way. You look that way. And I think you should be looking that way. Straight line, every knee in line, every eye line in place. And indeed, as the revolve goes round, hold your line, hold your place, keep your shoulders back, keep your eye line up. It goes on and on and on. Hold it there. That is on that angle. Don't overplay it, don't flatten it off. A five, six, seven, go. What Bill has got us to focus on is the connection between our younger selves my ghost character is a lovely dancer, Vanessa. Vanessa said, oh, Dawn, you really sit in your back hip. I said, that's Stella. And she really learnt that, to sit in that back hip. It's quite refreshing because you go, do I do that? She goes, oh, yeah, your shoulder comes up in that, in that step. And I go, oh, OK. So I asked Bill, I said, is that too much? He said, no, it's Stella. She's up front. And so Vanessa and I have been able to pull from each other. And that's been exciting. And I think that's why the number looks so stunning because the precision of each character I think that's part of the magic that makes this work. They mirror throughout the number. 
and then it culminates with them coming into a massive lineup, a soubrette lineup, and you see how all the mirror images come together for that one brief moment and it all blows apart again. This is so, it's just so, get out of my way. And that's what is so exciting. I hope the audience see what Follies was really like. Of course I've put a fresh touch on it because as a choreographer I will do that. But it's actually all the hours and hours of studying those those wonderful movies, Hollywood movies, Ziegfeld Follies, and all of that research and bringing that back to Follies, but then having something else to say on top of that. That's perfect. I'm very proud when I stand there after and see an audience stand and cheer for more at this beautiful show, and it is beautiful. That woman is 